man, is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the U.S. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for this unquestionably a rivalry fight here tonight. And this is not promotional hyperbole, folks. These fighters do not like each other. Tonight, in short order, they will close the Octagon door behind them. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. He has had massive success, not just inside the Octagon, but in the world of straight grappling. So the rivalry resumes here. Here we go with round one. And let's see who can get off to a good start here tonight. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a feeling out process, but both guys have said, don't worry about my emotions. Once that octagon door closes, I will let my skills take over. Let's see how it goes here early, Joe. Nice shot to the body there. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with it here. He's fainting with that kick. There's a kick. Nice jab. Inside leg kick lands, and immediately a mark on his opponent. Goes for the head kick, but doesn't connect. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Head kick lands, Joe. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Ooh. Roundhouse kick, Joe, unable to find the target. All right, so he lands that first kick to the body. That is a very good sign for him moving forward in this fight. That body kick. Oh! This could be it! Oh, he missed that kick. Oh! What a leg kick! Switching stances here. Hurt him with that uppercut. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Working on a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs to clasp his hands together, and then, oh and my is. God! He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett.